This is my red ribbed version of a black spider. This and a silver ribbed version in sizes 14 and 16 have proved quite successful for me on occasions. And for me they usually come into their own on our waters any time from late July onwards. So I'm going to attach the thread uh, to the hook about two millimetres back from the eye and then wind it down in touch and turns about halfway down the shank or just past that and then I'll snip off the waste thread and now I'm ready to attach the rib for the rib I'm using this rainbow thread I found it in a um, craft shop quite a few years ago and liked the look of it you can get it in various colours and nowadays I use it quite a bit for ribs and butts on a lot of the flies I tie so to attach it, I'm coming in behind the hook and picking up the thread with the rib and then sitting it down on the top of the hook. Take the tension with the thread and then just pull it back through and now wind it down the shank to fasten that rib in. Stop just before the bend of the hook and then I'm going to wind back up the body to the starting point. Once I get up there, um, this is just a personal thing but I like to go back down and back up the body again so I'm going to go back down and then back up to the starting point just behind the eye you don't have to do it if you don't want to as I say it's just a, a personal thing it's a habit I've got into with some of my spiders um, I guess I think it just gives the body a little bit more solidity if you want without adding too much bulk The uh, ribbon material is um, a stranded material and sometimes it has a tendency to split. So if it does, before you wind the rib, just give it a few twists just to tighten it up. And then we'll wind the rib back up the hook shank towards the eye in uh, evenly spaced open turns. Once we've reached the thread, take two or three wraps to fasten the rib down and snip away the waste. And now we're ready for the hackle. Um, I'm just going to show you how I prepare my soft hackles like hen, partridge, grouse, etc. for tying in. I'm only really interested in the short fibres at the tip of the feather, so I'll hold them and then stroke the rest of the fibres back down the stem and strip them away. If there's a chance that stem will break, I'll hold it further down and strip them in two halves. Once I've done that, I'll gauge what fibres I want and separate those from the tip as well. I did read somewhere once that uh, a perfect spider has about 18 fibres. I like my fly, flies to be a bit more durable, so I like a few more fibres. So if you wanted to measure that area there, I would say the area that I'm tying in is probably about five millimetres worth of fibres if you want. So now I'm just going to tie that tip in, fasten it in with a couple of turns, then snip away the tip. And then take another two or three turns to cover that stub and fasten it down a bit more. Now I'll take the hackle pliers, hold the feather vertical and stroke the fibres back towards the bend. And I'll hold them back and wind them in. And as I'm winding, I'll keep stroking those fibres back towards the bend of the hook. Once I've used them all up with two or three turns, I'll use the thread to fasten the stub down, two or three turns to secure it, snip it away, pull those fibres out of there, 
and then I'll stroke the fibers back and use the thread to form the head. Now I'm happy with that. I'll do a whip finish to finish the fly off. That's it, so now I'll snip away the thread and now we're ready just to get the dubbing needle with a bit of varnish on and seal that uh, thread at the head. There you go, that's it done and the fly's finished. So that's the black spider. Uh, as I said at the start, a very good fly for me, especially from late July onwards. I use uh, silver ribbed versions and red ribbed versions mainly in 14s or 16s. And it's not that often that I won't have either one or the other or both on a rig if I'm spider fishing for trout any time over the last two to three months of the trout season. So if you give it a go, I hope it works for you and tight lines.